Okay guys, I'm here today with Chiropravic, the Silver Fox, huge honor for me. And guys, today he's gonna show us here how to do the one-hand guillotine choke. So he already showed me and it's very, very interesting. And uh, you guys will see like how many great details there is on it. And now maybe you can start choking people with only one hand from the guillotine. So <laughs> excited I'll tie my other hand behind my back. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, you know, when I attack a guillotine, right, as the guy, as I start to, this starts to kick in, a lot of times the guy flops on his side. So first I want to make sure that I keep it the chin strap correct in a way that Bernardo cannot turn to his left. So if you, yeah, it's just not possible. You can go back to your right. The problem is now you're going into the guillotine. That gets worse. Yeah. So he's trapped. He's going to stay where he is. But I don't like trapping people. I like to submit them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get an underhook by the elbow. I'm going to arch to make sure his head goes under my body. And I'm going to turn. This is very important. I actually like to keep this underhook because this is what controls Bernardo. He's pinned. So it's very difficult for Bernardo to come up. Now, a lot, of, a lot of people do this when they get the, they start to pull the guy's neck. It could be painful, but it's not going to make a submission. So what I do instead is I just compress. <coughs> Notice that. Oh, that's great. <laughs> so, Carter, a few details here and a few questions too. So, I love it, love it, love it, the detail that you don't let me go to my left side. So, let's redo the position. Yes, yeah, sure, sure. I ask you why yeah. the show. Okay, so you got here, I roll. Okay, so if I turn to my left That's side. That's your only possible escape, so I have to stop that escape. Okay, so if you don't stop that, so if you just leave this loose, I'm gonna get out, right? Yeah. So what do you do here that my my face cannot turn that way? So I'm keeping, keeping it basically, this is my guillotine grip, that almost that um, miniature rear, uh, rear naked choke, right? Okay. So I'm kind of threatening the guillotine, but also the way I'm grabbing my hands, so I'm, I'm already connecting my hands, but I'm also, my right hand knuckles also reinforcing that grip against so, your chin. It's kind of like your knuckle. Oh man, that's awesome. So even I a strong guy, yeah. Off. And if I turn to my right side, I'm in the guillotine again, right? Correct. Okay. It gets worse. Way worse. Yeah. So now what's the next step? So next step is I'm going to get an underhook. Because now I want to, once I decide to come up on top, I want to make sure that I don't fight you, that I keep you pinned. Okay. So I'm going to get an underhook. Yep. Under your arm, not at the shoulder, at the elbow. Okay. I'm going to arch to make sure your head slips under my body. As yep. I'm doing this, I'm uncurling my hand to make it flat and go up on your neck. Yeah, and I'm I have one question here yes. about your hand. So if the camera can get a little closer. So how is your hand? Because I can't see it. It's palm up, palm so, down. So it started out curled to keep your chin. Yep. Once I decide to come up, I already made sure that you stay in the current position through this underhook. Okay. And now I'm going to open up my hand. Palm. And you're gonna put your palm on your chest. Yeah, and what I'm gonna do is move move it closer to you okay. because it's gonna get trapped under my body. Okay. So as I'm coming up, it gets trapped. Now I'm pinning you, so you got no place to go. Yeah. Yeah. And now I just compress. Oh my god, man, that that was amazing. Oh, that's great. Great, great, great. <laughs> I was completely pinning. I couldn't move. Yeah. In the beginning, I couldn't move my face. So step by step, you were. Yeah, I, I'm basically controlling this part of the body. To control the whole body is, is difficult, but if I'm controlling your shoulders and basically I'm controlling your, your head, very difficult even for a much stronger guy, more explosive guy than me to move. That's awesome. So one more time, Karen. For sure. Full move. So you have to do it here. So as the guy tries to escape to flop over, I make sure that he cannot come up. <coughs> Sorry. No, bro. No, that was a, when that happens, the <laughs> show's good. No, that was great, great, great. So, how did you, how did you develop that? Uh, like, uh, I, I realized about, it's, it's, been, it's been a while, like, I have a scrawny neck, I have shallow carotid, so if somebody gets on my neck, good luck getting to it, but if somebody does, it's not easy. And I remember, it was a high level black belt, and he tried to, he wrapped my head and started pulling on my head. And I, I didn't feel anything. I was like, I'm not tapping on this. This is not a good guillotine. And a lot of people do it. When they get there, they pull. Yeah. It's not, there's no constriction there. It's just, it's a little bit of pain, but I can suck it up. So I started playing with this. And then, you know, once I put my hand like this, especially if I can get my elbow, and then I just compress down with my torso, very strong. Oh. And the best part is I keep you pinned. So even if it fails, you 
I, I will wind up on top. I got it. No, but and it was very interesting for me because I, I used to train and teach, and teach at Marcellus. And I used, I used to see Marcel doing the north-south choke with one hand all the time. Yeah. So this reminded me the north-south choke with one hand, but instead of being like uh, parallel, instead of being yeah. vertical, it's, you were perpendicular. perpendicular. That was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> no, that I was, appreciate that. No, that was Thank great. you. Yeah, so guys, uh, Kario just shot an entire instructional all about guillotine. It's called Mastering the Guillotine. And the, all the sequence to get the guillotine, guillotines from everywhere. So very very well done and it's coming out very soon at bggfanatics.com but maybe by the time you're watching it's already there so make sure to check that out and i can't wait for that one uh, i appreciate it. Thank i appreciate you, all of it thank you thank you awesome. please help me out to grow my youtube channel just click subscribe and to watch more videos just click under see more videos i hope you enjoyed bjjfanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster.